No surprise that the new series Avatar The Last Airbender is visually stunning with a storyline to match. It's a reimagining of the beloved animated series starring Ian Owsley as Sokka, leader of the Southern Water Tribe, hoping to find peace in the world alongside the Avatar. Take a look. Where did he come from? I don't know. Oh my. Nice, nice. We're not going to die. Come on, let's go home. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? You're not thinking of leaving him. Katara, a strange glowy iceberg just exploded and left behind a mysterious little bald person. What part of that makes you think, great, let's bring him home. And Ian joins me now. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. It's such a great show. I mean, we're going to get to so many things. Uh, you just already got the green lit. They green lit the second and third seasons, which is incredible. <laughs> yes. You have a lot of work in your future. Tell us about Sokka when we meet him in season one. Yeah, when we meet Sokka, uh, season one, he's uh, he's the older brother. He's of Katara, who's the last waterbender in his village. He's like a sardonic, dry humor. He's the like kind of thinks he's the tough guy, but doesn't really have a lot of skill to back that up. Um, and he's like guiding Aang, who's the savior of the world, who can master all four elements on his journey away from the firebenders who are trying to take over the world. Right, so he has witness sense of humor, like, but you said that he's masking some insecurities that he has as a warrior. How is Sokka different from the one that people know from the animated series? Yeah, um, well, we love the animated series. That's like our Bible, that was our heart and soul of the show. So when we were adapting like a live action from a cartoon, we kept all of that soul, but it's like real real people. So some of the differences are just, that you kind of get that heart when you're looking a real person in the face, like going through all of these crazy events r rather than like what you can do in a cartoon, which is like crazy animation. And Sokka a lot of the times is like, falling and like getting kicked off of mountains in the in the cartoon <laughs> series and that's yeah. a little less funny when you're watching like a real person <laughs> right. uh, so yeah so the special effects though they are astounding in the show and a lot of the cast has been posting behind the scenes photos did you have a favorite thing to film oh gosh I, I mean I have a lot of favorite things that I like to film um, probably one of them would be from a VFX standpoint, there's a scene where um, there's this creature called the Heibai, mm -hmm. and we're in the spirit world, and we were filming it in Vancouver on these like random tr wires in like a forest, random forest in Vancouver, and uh, I got flown like 50 feet in the air. Like, so fun. Yeah, it was crazy. Oh my so. god, must have been a little scary, but exciting. It was scary, especially because it was like last shot of the day, so we got <laughs> to do it like three times really fast. Like. Wow. 10 minutes. <laughs> well, you, I mean, you have training, you have a martial arts background. Is mm -hmm. it true that you had to downplay your skills for this role? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, like Sokka, he's, he doesn't have any training at all, basically, because his dad had to go leave to fight the firebenders. So he's the oldest guy of his village, doesn't have a lot of training. Um, I've done Taekwondo since I was eight. I have a world championship from 2016, and I'm a third degree black belt. So a lot of the stunt training was just like, don't look like you know how to punch somebody, like yeah. punch from punch wide. You, know? you did a great job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Would have never guessed. Yeah, no, you were great. <laughs> we got to talk about TikTok, your videos. I mean, some of them have three million views. The fans are obsessed. I mean, was that just a lot of pressure to have to play this role, you know, the people will love and are familiar with? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I've talked about this a little bit. I think that when you're coming off of a visual representation of a character, it's really challenging because people can look at you and be like, that's either Sokka or that's not Sokka because I know who that is. Um, rather than like a book, like you have all this backstory, but people don't really know what that character would look like. So yeah, I mean, it was I was a fan of the show before I got put in the live action. So I was terrified like as a fan, I was like, at first, I was like, oh my god, I'm Sokka, this is so cool. And then I was like, oh my, oh my god, I'm god, Sokka. Sokka, what the heck? Like, <laughs> we better <laughs> make this good. Yeah. We gotta quickly talk about your clothing line. Yeah. You have this clothing line. Yes, um, it's called Callow Soil. Um, it's Greek for good soil. It's, uh, it's based off of, a lot of our designs are just based off of like old vintage pieces that we find. So like stuff from the 1950s, 60s. Cool. Yeah. Very exciting. It's very cool. Thank I you. definitely want to check that out. We'll all look for it. But you know where else we can look for you? You can catch Ian in Avatar, The Last Airbender, streaming now on Netflix. Awesome. Thanks for coming in. Thank you so much. I appreciate Such it. Such a great show. Thank you.